Well, next, a story about some visitors who flock to Tennessee this time of year for a layover. Not to enjoy the tourist attractions, but rather to nestle in the mud flats and eat grain. You see, they're birds, and as Rob Wiles discovered, they're quite at home at a refuge near Chattanooga. Yeah, there are quite a few of them out on the river. The great egrets that were out there are, are now gone. That's nice. Jimmy Wilkerson and his friends have gotten up on a cold Friday morning to make a trip, a pilgrimage really. Jimmy, who's from Hickson, is an avid bird watcher and he loves coming to the Hiawassee Wildlife Refuge in Hamilton County to see how many birds he can see. Thanks to this place, there's a chance to see a lot more than there used to be. Sandhill cranes have only been here for about 15 years. Uh, and uh, they started a few years ago with about 25 or 30 birds. And now we see up into the thousands, uh, 15, 17,000. Every year, migrating birds of many kinds show up to find some Tennessee hospitality here on their trek south. Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency Information Officer Dan Hicks says it's a favorite place for the feathered travelers. We'll have a storm like we're getting ready to have here in Tennessee, and migrating birds that are going from north to south get blown off course. And sometimes they wind up in strange places, and each year it's a real exciting thing for bird watchers to determine what kind of new species shows up. We have a wide variety of shorebirds that show up every year. They feel protected and there's a lot of food sources and of course the shorebirds love the, all the mud flats we have. The Hiawassee Refuge is such a popular place that a group called Operation Migration. Once we're done this migration, we're looking to move a little bit to the west right. and hopefully that will take us out of the um, Cumberland Plateau. Off, yeah, so we can miss the ridge. You might have heard of them. They use a light aircraft to lead endangered hooping cranes safely on their migratory trip down to Florida. Anyway, for the last several years, they've been leading the cranes to the Hiawassee Refuge for a stopover, a chance to rest and relax before they take off again for the Sunshine State. Liz Condy of Operation Migration says the Hiawassee Refuge is a great place for a layover for the hooping cranes, maybe even a bit too great sometimes. Because they love it and very often don't want to go. There's all these birds around and there's water, which they love. Yeah, like so many visitors, they fall in love with Tennessee and don't like to move on, which is a good thing, really. Wildlife manager Jason Jackson says it's what the place was designed for. It's a waterfowl refuge, so we try to, you know, we plant corn and about 250 acres of corn a year and about that much wheat in the fall. It gives them a place to stop and rest and have some food to eat and sort of recover a little bit. It's nice to have a place where, where you can come see that, that much diversity of wildlife and birds and, and have a place for them you know, to feel safe. In fact, this place has been instrumental in helping save at least one species for certain, the Sandhill Crane. Tennessee has played a major role in the comeback of the Sandhill Crane population. And that migratory bird was on the brink of being threatened uh, in the 70s. So that's a real wildlife success story there. It still does provide uh, a refuge for migrating waterfowl. And in addition, now that the Hooping Crane project is running and doing well, uh, it's playing a major role in that. And Tennessee's really contributing to, to that program. Sadly, not all the visitors to this area have been as happy as the birds who now come here. Back in the 1830s, President Andrew Jackson ordered the removal of the Cherokees, many of whom had lived in this very area for a long time. Trail of Tears came through there. Nearly a thousand Indians had to cross the Tennessee River there, and they spent several nights there in the cold rain, and uh, it was a rough time for those folks. 
And here, each year, they have a festival to recall the Cherokee heritage and to celebrate the survival of the cranes and other species of wildlife who call Hiawassee home. We've seen families of raccoons walk out in front of the crowd on Sand Hill Crane Day. We've had, uh, last year we had about 60 uh, wild turkeys that walked out and put on a show. Uh, we've had skunk families that appeared. And of course we have uh, the deer and, and uh, a lot of other indigenous wildlife there that you can see. All safe, secure at the Hiawassee Wildlife Refuge near Chattanooga.